Hello, this is a tutorial about how to create your own library in, uh, in Blender with your architectural objects, a library of these objects, of prototypes, and a library of, uh, of materials or, if you want, uh, uh, scenes. So let's have a look at the, <coughs> at the um, scene of uh, the last tutorial, uh, 32. You can download it from uh, GitHub. Link is below. And uh, this was our rendering for that. So we uh, had different prototypes, and we have different colors, and we have different uh, meshes. So now create a new one. And the interesting thing now is that if we uh, ask for link here instead of open the whole project we can link elements from the database of databases of this uh, file then we go here and uh, let's have a look here this is our, our blend file we can go in and here you see all the databases so we have the materials aubergine metallic dark green plain red so we can uh, import that or and or we can import all our objects so we have the prototype one so select it and here is prototype one linked so which means you have it here prototype one is mesh house one aubergine metallic so we have all these uh, these data it's there <clears throat> but it's linked, which means we can't change anything, but uh, uh, represent it as it is. So normally you want to have an instance of that, not just don't want to have a, a fixed copy of that, which can't be uh, changed. To do that, you have to go to uh, object, so which means this is linked, this is linked, this is linked to an external source and can't be edited here. To free the proxy, then you can say, uh, say here, make proxy, control alt p. Now again, we have to we make proxy, control alt p. And then here you know, you see that <coughs> uh, we have prototype proxy, this is prototype one, and then we inherit mesh and uh, aubergine uh, and then the color. So now we can. <clears throat> uh, and duplicate the thing and can work around. So, or now link another prototype. That's prototype two. Again, it's at his point. <coughs> Control Alt P. No. Select it, control out P, move it, duplicate, and we are now get. So instead of having A here, we simply go uh, and say link for the type 3. Keep it like that. Okay, now add a plane, put that to zero, scale it by eight, and this is our population of uh, instances. And we inherit all the things. So add a sun, or we can import the sun of our of last time we have the sun imported and here we are with another setup the interesting thing is keep this in mind or we make a uh, keep this setup in mind and as we added with inherited object we can change our uh, our prototypes in the other document and this will be inherited in this one so 
let's uh, have a look how this works. Save this and we say layout uh, one. Save. Now go to our prototypes. They are here. Um, material. So if, for example, we change this object, which is of um, prototype 2 and it's inherited, so it's an instance of uh, the same, and um, <clears throat> if we change that, for example, with material, or simply change now material and get that blue, or we go here and uh, edit the shape and the mesh a little of all the instances or make uh, that yellow so if we save that and we go back to our layout one you see it's inherited so there's another shape of this object and uh, the color and now we can render it and you see we never touched this layout and the layout is uh, completely detached from the design uh, and the prototypes of uh, these objects. So now we are a purely in, uh, in architectural design to set up these uh, outlines and this geometry. And uh, all the uh, design data is inherited from the uh, other layout. So if I want to um, have a copy of an object <coughs> instead of an, of an instance. Then I go here and instead of link I say append. So we go, we have the same thing here, go for prototype 3 and uh, it's again, it's here. Uh, now get this copy, save it, if we now go back, change this guy, give him, no, uh, simply go to mesh. Uh, GZ, make it asymmetric, make it like that, save it, go back to our layout, then this guy is inherited, this guy is independent. So it's like a duplication and this is a, a duply link. So therefore, if we go here and uh, edit that, no, we can't edit it because it's uh, still inherited. Yeah. Go for edit mode. We can edit him individually, independent from the other. So G set Y. And, uh, we have an independent uh, element. So, of course, this can be saved again. And by that, uh, this setup is available as a library again. But you should be very clear so that you say, this is set up for prototypes, so, and you put all your prototypes there and keep it there. And uh, then you have a certain layout which uh, makes use of that. 
So you also can have a different uh, a setup just for the colors or the materials, uh, then a file just for the principal meshes, the prototypes, and then you have multiple layouts referring to these two or three uh, databases. So that's it. There's another option I want to show, which makes it much more uh, convenient. So go back to our database. So if we want to have that as a database for links, then it, it's not of use and it's confusing if you have uh, multiple copies of it. So we have to reduce it and have one prototype only once. But uh, that's fine now. <clears throat> so the interesting thing is now here that we can have um, data previews. So make uh, these refresh data previews and then you get icons in the uh, in the file viewer. So and you can have then say batch generate previews for uh, our blender here. So this takes a while. Okay, now if we go to our layout and we ask for an instance, a new instance. Okay, we go here, object mode, a link, then we can look it up and we see the objects in icons. So you can say, you want to have prototype one, see that, and we get it here. Shift P, now select it, P, and uh, move it here, and we have another instance of that thing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.